Hello guys and welcome to my channel. Today in this video guys, I am going to tell you how to install a secondary IMU onto your drone. As you know guys, you already have your gyro sensor, your accelerometer and magnetometer already on your flight controller. So adding this external IMU will increase the stability and accuracy of all those sensors. Which is why guys, INF supports a secondary IMU on your flight controller guys. So guys, if you are new to assembling drone, ensure that you watch this video till the end so that you do not miss out on any important information or instructions that I have to share. Before we move further guys, if you are new to my channel and not yet subscribed to my channel, please hit that subscribe button and click that bell notification icon so that you get the notifications for my new videos let's get started so guys before we can start installing this external IMU let me give you some of the functions and features which this has to offer as you can see guys this is an external IMU with 10 degree of freedom it has a 3 degree freedom from gyroscope 3 degree freedom from your accelerometer and 3 degree of freedom from your magnetometer and it also has a height sensor so it is one degree of freedom so as you can see guys it has total 10 degrees of freedom so you have an inbuilt gyro of gy86 you have an accelerometer of ms5611 you have a magnetometer of hmc 5883i so the microcontroller which is fusing all these information into one is mpu6050 that is what you have on this external imu so let's quickly open this and see how does it look like. As you can see guys, this is your external IMU itself. It has got all three sensors inbuilt on this external IMU itself. As you can see, this is your pressure sensor. This is your magnetometer. This is your accelerometer and this is your gyro and this is your microcontroller itself which is responsible for fusing all the sensor information into one as you can see guys it has an m3 hole onto the top so as to be able to mount it onto your drone frame or any place that you have onto the back side guys you have the pin diagram as well as you can see it has vcc in and 3.3 volt so you can have a ttl output both from 3.3 logic to 5 volt as well so you can maximum power this up using v input voltage which is 5 volt as you can see it has a vcc 3.3 volt as i told you before it has a ground scl nhda for i to c communication so all your sensor fuse data will be outputted from your scl nhda you have f sync interrupt data and data ready signal as well available onto this chip so this is the chip guys which is what i am going to install on my flight controller using i2c port which is available on my flight controller it comes with this jumper connection guys if you want you can use it guys but i will be directly soldering the wires onto this external imu so guys before we start with the installation let me walk you through how i'm going to install this external imu onto my drone guys as you can see onto the top it has a marking of x and y axis here printed onto the top so ensure that guys whenever you install this imu x is facing onto the front side of the drone and then you have the y axis onto the side so ensure that guys you install this sensor in the correct orientation so that your flight controller knows which is the front side so ensure that your x is facing onto the front now let's quickly go to the pin diagram guys here onto the back side guys has pins called vcc in 3.3 volt ground scl and sda i will not be using f sync interrupt and data ready signal guys here on my flight controller and i'm going to power it up using the 5 volt so i'm going to use vcc in not 3.3 volt then i will be using the ground scl and sda so as to be able to connect it to the i2c port which is available on my flight controller guys so that is how guys i'm going to connect this onto my flight controller guys now let's quickly tin those ports and quickly connect it to the flight controller first pin is your vcc let's quickly tin that and then the third pin is your ground so let's tin that too and then you have your scl and sda So guys, now I have successfully tinned all the pins that I'm going to require to connect it to my flight controller. Let's quickly solder the wires onto these pins. Now 
so guys here is my drone let me walk you through how i'm going to connect this external imu onto my flight controller as you can see guys here the pin is vx and ground i have already soldered the wires here guys you can see yellow and brown yellow being the plus 5 volt and brown being the ground which is already connected to my flight controller so the flight controller that i'm using on this drone guys as you know is metexis 765 wsc flight controller i have already installed a lot of sensors and peripherals onto this drone guys if you have not seen that video guys i will put the link of the videos above or in the description below for you guys to check it out so as you can see guys here there is an i2c port available here on my flight controller guys but i will not be able to connect that wire onto my i2c port here guys because there is a lot of wires already guys but there is an i2c wire going on to the side lcd as you can see guys here it has an sda and scl port here on my lcd so i am going to use the wire from this lcd to connect to my external imu so the brown wire here is your sca and your black wire is scl so scl and sda wire is your black and brown respectively and that is how i'm going to connect my external imu on my flight controller let's quickly solder those wires here guys now guys let's quickly connect the wires as you know the first one is 5 volt and the 5 volt is the yellow wire let's quickly connect the yellow wire onto the 5 volt guys so my 5 volt is connected next one is ground let's quickly connect the ground So guys, my ground wire is connected as well. Let's quickly connect the SCL and SDA. So the next wire is your SCL and SCL is the black wire guys. Let's quickly connect the black wire here onto the next port. So the black wire is connected guys. The last one is the brown wire, which is my SDA. So let's quickly connect that as well. So guys, as you can see, my external IMU is connected. My 5 volt ground SCL and SDA is all connected here, guys. I am going to install this IMU right here in the front. That is the place I am going to place it. Now let's quickly place this using the DST, guys. So guys, this is the DST, guys, that I'm going to put on top of it like this. So as it holds the wires as well as it prevents it from any short circuit that might happen by having the components touching the base or touching the drone frame guys so this is it guys this concludes the tutorial on how to install an external imu onto your flight controller so the software part of it on how to configure this and how to use this external imu on your flight controller guys and your firmware guys i'll be doing it in another video guys so ensure that you stay tuned to my channel so that you do not miss out on my future videos so this concludes this tutorial guys i hope you guys like this video if you guys like this video please do not forget to hit that like button if you have any questions or comments please leave them in the comment section below i will try and answer as soon as possible if you are new to my channel and not yet subscribed to my channel please hit that subscribe button and click that bell notification icon so that you get the notifications for all my new videos thank you guys thanks for watching and clear skies